अनुलोम विलोम मेंटल अनुलोम विलोम इज ऑल्सो कॉल इज ऑल्टरनेट नॉस्ट्रल ब्रीदिंग बिकॉज वी आर ऑल्टरनेटिवली ब्रीदिंग फ्राम द नॉस्ट्रल्स ओके इन दिस वॉट वी डू इज वी विल नॉट बी यूजिंग आर थम एंड इंडेक्स फिंगर लाइक वी नॉर्मली डू इन ऑल्टरनेट नॉस्ट्रल ब्रीदिंग वी शूल ट्राई टू डू इट मेंटली सो वी विल इनहेल फ्राम लेट से द लेफ्ट नॉस्ट्रल एक्जेल फ्राम द राइट देन इनहेल फ्राम द राइट एक्जेल फ्राम द लेफ्ट inhale from the left and continue now you know you cannot do this perfectly well but you can make it so that the air is going from your left nostril from the outer walls from the inside but out outside of outside okay and when you exhale it's coming from like kind of curved like that okay so let's uh try to do this there's no way you're going to tell i'm doing it but let's just uh do it a few times and then you exhale slowly release so you know it's uh, one might ask how do i do this so it's just like this you know some people you can uh, focus on the muscle in your ear and you can lift the ear you can focus on the muscle of your eye and lift one eyebrow right same way you can focus on the muscles of your nose and basically inhale from that nostril focus on the muscles of your right nostril and exhale from there focus on the muscles of the right nostril and inhale from there and with practice you will be able to do anulom vilom mentally and anulom vilom is a very beneficial breathing exercise because it helps to focus and balance our mind when the mind is well balanced it relaxes our body and the body heals when it is relaxed mixture of flows downward dog let's go into bhujangasan bend your elbows inhale into cobra the legs do not touch the floor exhale downward dog inhale cobra exhale downward dog once more go back into downward dog stay in downward dog raise your right leg bring the right knee to the right elbow inhale up exhale right knee to the left elbow do this two more times inhale exhale inhale exhale and going up now coming into pigeon bring your right leg on the floor and slowly extend your arms forward lean forward and relax with the forehead on the floor breathe in breathe out stay here for five ujjayis enjoy the stretch in the leg muscles lower back breathe in breathe out walk your hands back raise your torso go back into downward dog let's do three downward dog to cobra flows inhale bhujangasan exhale downward dog inhale bhujangasan exhale downward dog once more and now let's raise the left leg nice and high left knee to the left elbow inhale up exhale left knee to the right elbow inhale up two more times inhale exhale raise the leg go into pigeon bring your left leg on the floor thighs in line with the edge of the mat leaning your body forward coming bringing the forehead on the floor stay here for five ujjayis inhale and exhale making the ocean wave sound raise your head walk your hands back let's go back into downward dog and let's get ready to do three more downward dog to cobra flows bend the elbows inhale into cobra exhale downward dog inhale cobra exhale downward dog one last time exhale and then bend your knees spread your knees wide apart 
and slide your body into child pose completely relax maintain this for five to ten breaths take deep breaths the heart rate has increased in this exercise by taking deep breaths you can calm yourself down cross-legged spinal stretch let's start by lying down on the floor now bend both the knees and place them on the floor interlace your fingers and place them underneath the head gently place your right leg on top of the left leg and there should not be any gap in between the legs move your knees to the left and turn your head to the right maintain this position for 10 breaths you may close your eyes and enjoy the twist in the spine enjoy the stretch in your neck shoulder and back muscles breathe in breathe out Slowly lift your knees back, bring the legs back to the center. Now let's flip our legs. Take the left leg on top of the right. Make sure there is no gap in between the legs. Now slowly move your knees to the right. Look to the left and enjoy the twist in the spine. Maintain this for 10 breaths. Observe as you inhale, the lungs fill up, belly rises, rib cage expands slightly. As you exhale, belly goes in, ribcage contracts back. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly bring your knees back to the center. Stretch your legs out. Bring your arms back on the mat. Let go of all your weight onto the floor and completely relax. Setu. Setu means bridge in Sanskrit. One should avoid this posture in case of neck injury and recent knee injury. Begin by lying flat on the mat. Bend the knees, placing your feet flat on the floor and position them a few inches apart. The feet should be directly underneath the knees and your knees should not be jutting out. The lower legs should be perpendicular to the floor. So pressing your feet and arms into the mat, raise your hips as you inhale. Interlace your fingers and stretch out your arms. Maneuver your shoulders and come up even higher if you can. Let's stay in this position for 10 to 20 ujjayis or ocean breaths. Now let me show, talk about a little bit of the flaw that can happen with the knees. So if your feet are very close to the hips, so if you can Alexa walk your feet towards your hips and then lift your hips off the ground, you notice how the knees are jutting out. We don't want that happening. So you want to come back down, make sure your feet are directly underneath the knees, the feet are slightly apart, okay, and the inner thighs are parallel, inner feet are parallel, Lift the hips off the ground, interlace the fingers, stretch your arms out and maintain this position. Enjoy the stretch in the back muscles and leg muscles. This posture increases the blood circulation in your upper body, energizes the thyroid and opens up the chest, giving you lungs, more room to expand and thereby facilitate breathing. This is a wonderful pose to observe your diaphragmatic breathing. Observe as you inhale, your belly rises. As you exhale, the belly comes back down. This posture gives instant relief for people that are experiencing lower back pain or sciatica pain. To release, come out of the posture. Bring the hips on the ground, stretch your legs out, release your arms and completely relax. Bhujangasana. Bhujanga means snake or serpent in Sanskrit. This posture is also known as the cobra pose. We should not perform this pose with back, spinal or wrist injury 
If you suffer from either of these, you may do baby cobra instead. To begin, lay on your belly on the mat. Keep your legs together so the thighs and lower legs touch. Place your hands on the mat, one on top of the other, close to your chest. On your next inhalation, slowly straighten your arms to bring your upper body off the mat. Keep your shoulders down, expanding the chest and ribcage with each breath. Raise your head and lean slightly backwards. Try to touch the base of your head to your neck and feel the stretch in your neck muscles. If you have neck or cervical spinal injury, simply look straight. As you raise your body, try to keep your hips on the floor. Make sure your legs and buttocks are relaxed. Enjoy the arch you have created in your spine. Remain here for 10 to 20 breaths. Bhujangasana strengthens the neck, spine, the arms, as well as stretches the chest and shoulders. In this posture, we are stimulating and energizing our pineal, pituitary, thyroid, pancreas glands, and the liver. Make sure your hips, legs, buttocks, shoulders, and face are all relaxed. To exit the posture, slowly bend the arms to return your upper body to the mat. Stretch your arms out on the mat, rest your face on one side and relax. Salabhasana. Salab means locust or grasshopper in Sanskrit. Let's start by lying on the mat with the chin on the mat. Make gentle fists of your hands. Take the thumb in and roll the fingers on top. Now place your fists underneath the groin region for support. Make sure your fists do not touch each other. Stretch both the legs and raise them as high as you can or around 45 degrees. Maintain this for 10 to 20 breaths. Be aware of the stretch in your lower back and the leg muscles. Chin stays on the mat throughout the posture. Make sure your upper body is completely relaxed. Be aware of your breathing. Inhale and exhale. If you prefer, you may do Ujjayi's ocean breath. Inhale, making the ocean wave sound. Exhale, making the ocean wave sound. As you exhale, slowly release the legs, hands. Turn your head to the other side and completely relax. Paschimottanasana or Janu Shirsasana. Paschimottanasana translates to seated forward bend in Sanskrit. Pascha means after or westward, and Uttana means intense stretch. This posture is also called Janu Shirsasan. Janu means knee, and Sira means head in Sanskrit. This pose should be avoided in case of asthma and back injury. Let's begin in Dandasana, seated upright and tall on your sitting bones, with your legs extended out in front of you. Raise both your arms, lengthening the torso, as you exhale, slowly lean forward from the hip joints, not at the waist. Keep your back as straight as you can. The belly should first contact the upper thighs, followed by the rib cage, and finally the head. If possible, grasp your feet. If not, let your arms rest next to the legs comfortably. Upon each exhalation, continue to relax your back muscles, lengthen your leg muscles, taking you deeper and deeper into the posture. Always perform any yoga asana within your capacity and never overexert. Let's maintain this position for 10 to 20 breaths. In this pose, we are energizing the kidneys, adrenal glands, 
and organs in the pelvic cavity. It provides a good, good stretch for the shoulders, hamstrings, and lower back. Breathe in, breathe out. Now to release, slowly raise your arms. Come back in an upright position. Release your arms and relax. Malasana, garland pose walk. Avoid malasana or garland pose if you have had knee surgery or are experiencing severe knee pain. Sit in a squatting position with your feet wide apart. Try to bring your heels on the floor. If it is difficult, just keep them raised. Make a namaste with your hands and now walk. Do this for about a minute or as for your capacity. In this posture, we are compressing and energizing our digestive organs, strengthening the leg muscles and strengthening our knee joints. Slowly walk back to your mat. Come back to the starting position. Release your arms, legs and come into seated positions. If you like, you can even stretch your legs out and sit in Dandasana and relax. Halasana. Hala means plow in Sanskrit. This is the plow pose. Please avoid this posture if you have high blood pressure, glaucoma or are menstruating. Let's begin by first stretching both the legs. Gently raise the legs through 45 degrees, 90 and then extend the feet beyond the head until the legs are parallel to the floor. Continue to lower the feet until the toes touch the floor behind the head. Let's extend our arms in front of the body. Interlace your fingers and stretch the arms out. Another variation would be to interlace the fingers and place them near the crown of the head. Breathe in, breathe out. Maintain this for about 30 breaths or within your capacity. This posture increases blood circulation in the upper body, stretches the ligaments of the spinal column, energizes the thyroid and parathyroid glands, massages, tones and stimulates all internal organs, especially the intestines, pancreas, spleen and the liver, improves function of the gonad and adrenal glands, adds glow to the face and clears out facial acne and pimples. To release, exhale and gently bring the hips on the floor. Bring your arms back forward. Release the arms, the legs. Let go of all your weight onto the floor and completely relax. Let's do a couple of complementary postures. The first one is half fish. Let's support the lower back. Place your hands underneath the sacrum region. Using your elbows, bring the top of the head onto the floor and lift the shoulders off the ground. Here your neck is getting uncurled. This posture energizes the thyroid and also opens up your chest, making breathing a lot more easier. Maintain this for a few breaths. And then slowly release, release your arms. And now let's do threading the needle. Bend one knee and place the foot on the outside of the knee. Take your arm from in between the legs. Interlace your fingers, place the hand outside the knee. Squeeze the knees close to the chest. Enjoy the stretch in the thigh muscles. Sometimes when you do Sarvangasan, there is an arch in the back that's created, which feels very uncomfortable. This posture flattens that arch in the middle back. Breathe in, breathe out. And now slowly release and let's go to the other side. Take the foot, place it outside the knee, take the arm in between the legs, bring the knees close to the chest, breathe in, breathe out. Be aware of the stretch in the back muscles. And now to release, slowly release your arms, legs, 
Stretch your legs out, bring your arms by the side, collapse your body onto the floor and completely relax. Shavasana. Let's begin by lying on the floor. Feet are 10 to 18 inches apart. Palms facing the sky, fingers gently curled. Find a comfortable position for your head. Let's begin this mental relaxation starting with the legs. Relax the feet, the lower legs, knee joints, thighs. Relax your hip joints, pelvis, abdominal muscles, chest muscles. Relax the shoulders and relax each and every vertebrae of yours. Relax the buttocks. Let's bring our awareness to the arms and send a wave of relaxation through all the muscles in both your arms. Relax your neck muscles, facial muscles, your eyes, eyelids, eyebrows. Bring your awareness to the head and relax the entire skull region. And observe your breathing the smooth and steady breathing. If there is any part in your body that needs that extra relaxation, you may relax it now. Otherwise, stay focused on your breathing. To release, slowly wriggle your fingers and your toes. Gently turn on to your left side or your right side. Place your hand underneath the head, making a pillow out of it, and slowly come into a sitting position. Let's rub our palms, make them nice and warm. Place them on the eyes. Let the warmth flow from the palms to the eyes. Release the hands. Place them on the knees. Open your eyes.